Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This week on Walking Dead, we learned that there is a super flu going around, Rick probably isn't going to be a farmer anymore, someone's feeding the walkers, and Carol is hardcore. So let's do a super quick recap of the walker shitstorm that went down inside cell block D, and then talk about what it means. Don't you dare cough on me. So the episode picks up with Walker Patrick walking around cell block D looking for a late night snack, maybe a cuddle buddy. He ends up getting one of the Woodsbury people, and shit is on. After it's all over, Lizzie and Mika's dad is getting ready to turn, and Carol almost gets Lizzie to end him, but she can't quite do it. She ends up spending the rest of the episode telling Lizzie that she's weak, but maybe she's not weak, maybe she's just messed up. Outside, Michonne ends up getting run over with walkers, and Carl ends up shooting one with a shotgun. Rick ends up giving him the hat. Turns out you're in the club after you kill your first walker, or at least it's his first walker as far as Rick knows. Remember, Rick has had a really strict no-gun policy for the last couple of episodes, so Carl using a shotgun is actually a really big deal. So everyone starts to realize that it's actually a super flu that's going around, a bug. They're not quite sure what it is, but they know that it turns people into walkers overnight. Remember, on The Walking Dead, everyone kind of already has the walker virus, and the flu just basically kills them overnight, turning them into walkers overnight. So it's basically like a walker replicator, so the threat level is up big time. Eventually outside, walkers start to crash the gate, and they find a bunch of dead rats lying around, meaning that someone has been feeding the walkers, causing the mass there. Rick ends up using the pigs to lead them off in this really heartbreaking scene. It's almost like he's killing his children. It kind of looks like he's given up on pacifism at this point. He burns the pig pen, then gives Carl his gun back, and puts his gun belt on with his giant gun, meaning that this is probably the end of Farmer Rick. Long live Farmer Rick. So people that were suspected of having the super flu had been quartered off and death row, but it turns out that someone had burned the bodies. Someone had killed them prematurely so that they wouldn't turn. Tyrese ends up finding Karen and, kind of heartbroken, starts to lose it. And that's where the episode ends. So what does this mean, and who is responsible for feeding the walkers, and what's going on with this super flu? So number one, let's talk about the super flu first. Greg Nicotero on Talking Dead actually talked a little bit about the flu. He said it was inspired by this historical flu that basically just killed people super fast overnight. So it sounds like the flu was actually just a coincidence. It sounds like someone isn't actually poisoning people using the water supply like a lot of people suspected. He was responding to a fan's question too when he said that there will be way more walkers this season than in any season previously. Number two, who burned those bodies at the end? Who burned Karen and that other person? The other person that got burned was that person from the first episode who was skewering walkers. Remember the really close-up shot of the one that looked like it was infected? It was basically infected with that super flu, and the person that killed it was actually that other person that got burned. Remember, Rick was the one with that red gas can burning the pigsty before that scene, so it could have been him, or the other theory is, is that it could have been Carol, because she is basically one of the most hardcore characters on the show now, just trying to teach the kids how to kill people. And number three, who is feeding the walkers? Greg Benson, actually also on that episode of Talking Dead, had this really awesome theory that I kind of agree with, that it was actually Lizzie who had been feeding the walkers. And if it wasn't Lizzie, it was definitely one of the other children. Remember that the flashlight and this dead rat were actually really high up that fence, and how else would those things have gotten stuck up there? if someone hadn't have tried to climb up that fence and stick them there while they were throwing rats over. So it was obviously a small person using a ladder. And remember, in that first episode, Lizzie saw that person with the name tag, the walker with the name tag named Nick. So she kind of started to think of these walkers as people. So it's possible that she was sympathizing them in this really twisted way, trying to help them out. Either way, it was definitely one of the children. Remember, they were all giving the walkers names. So next episode, we gotta find out who burned those bodies, stop Tyrese from killing everyone, trying to find out who burned those bodies, and we gotta deal with this super flu. Personally, I don't think it was Rick. Yeah, he's hardcore, but he's still a human being inside. So I think Carol is a much better suspect for that. But let me know what you think. So I'll be posting my next Walking Dead video next Sunday after the episode airs, after episode three airs. Be sure to subscribe to get it. Since there's no Sleepy Hollow tomorrow too, I'm also posting another Game of Thrones season four video for Sir Davos, since you guys all requested him so much. If there's anything that you thought was really important in this episode that I didn't mention, be sure to write it in the comments. We'll discuss if I. And in the meantime, you can click here to watch my review of the trailer for the Doctor Who 50th anniversary episode that just posted. And you can click here to get all my other Walking Dead videos. Now let's all give each other a really sanitary high five. Make sure you wash your hands before you give me this high five. Don't you dare cough on me. <laughs>